Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial about Technic Camtasia and this video tutorial I'm going to show you how we can start a new project or a new recording. Obviously when you start uh, Camtasia if you haven't disabled this welcome screen you will see these options to start a new project or start a new recording. Now there's one uh, discussion we need to have here about the project properties. So if you start a new recording all you will get is the new record dialog directly with this window to specify the size of the recording and obviously you can record full screen, you can record a custom size, you can change your size of the recording down here to HD or other property or other sizes. Um, so if you have chosen to start a new recording you will just see this one first and then you can record your video and after that recording, you when you stop that recording, you will go to the main program window. Now, if I'm not going to record right now, uh, but of course, if you choose here a custom size for your video, or you choose HD, one of the presets, or any of the other sizes, obviously when you finish recording, that recording will go back into the main project window and you will see the size of the project adjusted to that recording. But I'm not going to do this now. I'm just going to go into a new project. So I'm going to start Camtasia again. And this time, instead of choosing a new recording, I'm just going to choose new project. And that's going to open the main program window. So now with the new project window open, what you can do is you can, the first thing you need to do is basically decide what your project is going to be, the size of the project is going to be like, because um, this is very important to choose up front, because if later you just do some editing and you add some clips and transitions and maybe graphics and images and elements on your stage, on your canvas, and then you decide to change your canvas size, everything's just going to go crazy and you're going to potentially lose a lot of time having to readjust stuff and depending on how big the project is, you're going to spend a lot of time having to move stuff around because your canvas is different. So it's very important to do this the first time you start a new project. Just change your project settings to the size you want. So to do this, you can either go to the file menu and then choose project settings. And it's going to bring this window here with the size of the recording, the, screen, the canvas size and all the other properties, or you can access the same window by going to the zoom um, canvas option here and choosing project settings down here. So that's the same window here. And the first thing you change is canvas dimensions and Camtasia has some sensible defaults. I think it defaults to 1080p of course with 30 frames per second as you can see down here or you can just change this to 4K Ultra HD depending on the quality you want to use for your video. Um, if you're doing screen screen recorded tutorials, you're probably better off with just HD or recording your full screen. And you've got, of course, sizes for uh, face, you know, Facebook, Instagram, and all these iPhones and stuff like that. So I'm just going to leave it to HD for now. And uh, furthermore, you can change the frame rate to 30. 30 or 60 frames per second. So I've seen a lot of people ask on, on the web, how do you change from uh, 30 to 60? Well, this is where you do it on the project setting. So these are project specific. Okay, so even if you record at a higher resolution, let's say if you record at 4K HD and edit at 4K HD, you can still export your project, your final video at HD because you can change this in the export settings. So we will cover that later. Um, but for now, just change your size before you start editing. It's very important to do this. Change the size of the video, the project, and then you can change the frame rate here and also to auto normalize loudness. What this does is if you have a uh, different sources of audio or you speak louder in one in one part of the audio and then record something else and you change your volume or speak louder. Um, if you enable auto or auto normalize loudness, this will automatically adjust the audio loudness across the clips, across all the clips in your projects to maintain audio consistencies for the entire for the entire project. So you can have different volume tracks, you import them all in there and this auto normalize will make sure that all of your audio is 
consistent across of, uh, across them so when you export the audio is all the same so this being said we have set up our initial project settings and we will just click apply and this is our canvas now at the right size now if you have recorded a, a screen tutorial or something before arriving at this screen here then your recording will show up in the media bin and also on the timeline but I haven't done that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just import some video files from my disk you can just open your uh, computer drive uh, folder and I have some files here that I would like to introduce including my project all I have to do is just select all of them and drag them over here now these are files these are uh, two mp4 one mp4 file one MOV that's a QuickTime file and I have two images PNGs uh, that are um, with with an alpha channel so obviously um, Camtasia can import actually more formats you can import AV files BMP bitmaps uh, of course the, the recording format Camrec uh, the recording format from Camtasia you can import GIF images JPEGs uh, QuickTime video files like I said you've got mp3 mp4 uh, even PDFs and PowerPoint files which you can use to include in your video and of course audio files wave WMA or WMV so all of these formats are supported by Camtasia what I'm using here is Camtasia 2019 so it is possible that future versions will include other formats that they support but for now these are the ones that I'm gonna uh, even show on the screen here that they support so after I drag the files into my media bin uh, they are not yet on the timeline so I can then drag them from my media bin to my timeline. This has been a quick tutorial on how to get started with Camtasia project. Um, we have learned how to change the project properties um, such as the size of the canvas that you you do editing with and the audio normalization and frame rate. You can see the frame rate that's indicated down here also and how to import content into your media bin if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and tune in for future tutorials i will be walking you step by step um, into camtasia and other graphics programs video editing design and marketing uh, software that i'm using um, so if you've learned something please like and subscribe and share this video uh, and see you next time